All right, happy Halloween nerds. I am back for another beer review, and today we got a special one from Witchwood Brewery. Hobgoblin Ruby. Hobgoblin being the unofficial beer of Hello. It's Halloween. I, I'm, I need a costume. Serious beer review is very serious. This is uh, my costume. This is what I found. I am Charizard from Pokemon. I even have back here wings somewhere. Anyways. Got to make this classy. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can keep this serious. Okay, anyways, yeah, from Witchwood Brewery over in lovely England. Does it say exactly where? Sorry, Milano, Italy. I don't know. It's Witchwood Brewery. Oxfordshire. Oxfordshire. There we go. The Ruby Beer, 4.5%. A little bit more than one pint can. Big old bad boy. Which would be in one of the more famous breweries from over there. Well known around the world. And when I came across a can of this, I couldn't help but get it for Halloween. How perfect. Alright, so according to their taste notes, I'm going to pour this as I talk. Now this is where I got a bit confused. So, a lot of the beer channels I admire will really review and discuss tasty notes that they got from the beer itself, from the brewer itself, from information on the interwebs. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing. So, brown body, ruby-ish, I guess, right? Nice brown body, giant white head. My glass might just be a little something in there still, who knows. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here while I talk. Their tasty notes said, on their website, on Witchwood's website, said, juicy, zesty, complex fruit. Grapefruit. That was your first note. Then you get into the tasty notes. Taste, toffee, dry, biscuity, aroma, toffee, toffee, slight citrus, chocolate, which makes sense. It uses, uh, I got some notes here, pale crystal and chocolate malt. So all that kind of goes in with a bitter style beer. And then Fuggles and Styrian Golding, which is really weird because Styrian's just a clone of Fuggles. So I'm not sure why. If you know why, please leave a comment below. Uh, let us know why. Anyways, the finish should be figs, raisins, dates. Where's the grapefruit? Is that in the aroma, the slight citrus, maybe? So I got a little confused because it seemed to be all over the place as far as how it's trying to describe itself. But, I mean, it is Hobgoblin. It is Witchwood, which I've never had. I should say in advance, I've never had a Hobgoblin beer. I've never had anything from Witchwood. I am in the middle of nowhere, southern Alberta, farming community, essentially. So we, until recently, haven't been able to get really fancy beer like this. Well, fancy, foreign, exotic, however you want to say. Um, I haven't really been able to get foreign beer as much around here, but now it's starting to come in thanks to a couple liquor stores in the area, a couple beer stores. So I got some Witchwood. I have some beer from Poland, a uh, I'm going to do right away here, if you haven't seen it already, because it might go up before this one. Anyways, uh, yeah, Japanese beer you've seen, all kinds of cool stuff, but I was super, super, super excited to get this, because if you're just tuning in, for some weird reason, if you skipped ahead the whole intro, I'm wearing a Halloween costume, it is Halloween, we fall back one hour, sex hour of sleep, to hopefully sleep off some of this beer I'm going to drink. Um, let's get to it. Aroma. Interesting. There actually is. There is citrus in here. Interesting. Okay. And it's like, you do get the chocolate. Like slight, slight, slight. Sweet chocolate. Toffee, I'm not really picking up, but there is a bit of a zing. So that would be the grapefruit, I betcha. And that was a very bad swish. Trying to roll it around, hopefully degas, get some more aroma going. 
Okay, so I'm not picking up the toffee at all. I'm picking up some citrus. There's a little like malt sweetness. I think that's the chocolate. Sweet. All right. It's Hobgoblin Ruby. There's quite a few of these Hobgoblin beers. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, let's dig in, guys. It's dry. Whew. It's actually really, really dry. It's interesting. It is really earthy at the beginning. Which is interesting. That's like very Fuggles characteristic. But then it's like almost woody, actually. But then transition that like, yeah, you get that toffee, biscuity flavor first. And then it goes a bit... Do I get the raisins? Do I get the dates? A little bit. You get that weird, that raisin sweetness, right? That tannin sweetness at the back end. Dates, I don't pick up so much on. Figs, me, not really. No, definitely I can get the raisins. You get toffee. It's very biscuity, very crackery, dry as heck, like super dry beer. Which I did not expect from this. I, it was definitely in my fancy tasting notes here. But I did not expect that from a beer like this. It's just like an English bitter, essentially. Like an ESB um, style beer. Which are really good. Pub beer. But it's really interesting how, how dry it is. And I wonder, I wonder what's that from. Is that from the Fuggles? Probably. Maybe it is complex. I'm not picking up certain things. I get the toffee. It's earthy, woody, toffee, raisin. I get all that. I don't get the rest. Um, again, maybe my palate's not as refined to pick up these little things. The more beer I try in this style, the more I'll pick up little stuff. Maybe what I should do sometimes is when I do a beer and it has these notes is to have dates and figs on hand just so I can taste test. Um... Or is that just too Cicerone snobby, maybe? You can just let me know what you think. That's what comments are for. Overall, though, let's talk about my enjoyment of the beer, because that's pretty important. This beer is super good. It has a nice sweetness to it. It dries out so it doesn't linger too hard. And it makes you want to drink more. Not, maybe that's why a brewer will put a good dryness in it. Something just to suck that out, make you go for more. It's only 4.5%. So it's super, super light. And it did take me a long time to find everything because, holy, there's a lot of information on that can. Uh, any other information here that I should know about? Nothing important, it looks like. Cask strength. But yeah, the sweetness makes me want to come back for more. The dryness makes me want to come back for more. And as you drink, you just get used to that earthiness. So it's really super, super, super enjoyable. Um, it's a sweeter version of the ESB our local, one of our local breweries has on top, Spectrum Ale Works. Um, and it won gold medal at the Alberta Brewing Awards. So it kind of showed that styles. Is it coming back? It never really went away, but I mean, this isn't a new beer. But I've noticed more breweries are starting to start do that again. Maybe it's a good baseline beer to learn from. Um, to learn your equipment and everything. People are really doing it right. And it's kind of a new thing for me. And not that I'm over uh, IPAs and sours and all But it's nice to kind of get back to your roots. Especially doing this channel. Trying to learn about beer. Baseline beer. And this is like, this is pretty much in there. I love, 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 love how sweet it is. Because it's not overpoweringly, cloyingly sweet. It's just subtle and soft and enjoyable without being too intrusive. They're sounding like a snobby Cicerone, right?
Yeah, it's really good. I don't... I don't really get the grapefruit thing. It is sweet, though. I like it. Okay, anyways. That was Fuggles and Warlock Hobgoblin here on Halloween. The spookiest of beers. Hobgoblin. Again, hit the spooky thumbs up button. Hit the spooky bell. Leave your spooky comments below. Let all your friends know about this uh, channel. We're just uh, trying to get more and more. Lots coming up. Coming up in November. Uh, loggers of the world. little trip around the world. We're going to go on a little cruise. And then in December, the advent calendar. So much coming up here on Fermented Nerves. I just can't keep up. Um, but don't worry. I'm not going to do a review every day. Because that's really, really hard to do. Um, so this was Hobgoblin. This was Witchwood Brewery. And I've been looking forward to this. And it was super enjoyable. And I forgot I'm wearing a silly ass costume. But I might keep wearing it because it's pretty warm. Pretty warm here. On a cool Canadian fall. And with that, Charizard out. <laughs>